Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at another Red Dragon. And I believe this is a first from Red Dragon. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. But I do believe that this is Red Dragon's first gasket mounted keyboard. So this is the Red Dragon 75% Elf. And what the model of this is. This is a K649. I do believe that this is a new series. Um, it looks like it comes well padded. Two sound absorbent foams to reduce the noise from switches. Gasket mounted brings better typing experience. And only on profile, two color PBT keycaps. Now let me see uh, what other features that we have on here. Uh, we're using Melt Gold Light Force Linear Switch. I have not heard of these. Uh, that will be interested to try those out. OEM Profile 2 Color PBT. Is that die sub or is that double shot? RGB backlight with program light patterns. Gasket mount brings better typing experience, so we heard. Hot swappable for more switch options and two sound absorbing foams. All right, so it looks like it's just a wired. It is not a three mode. So let's go ahead and take off the Red Dragon seal and see what we have. So along in the box, we have... Um, a red escape key and space bar. Now these are double shot, but they're just top double shot. And we have a horseshoe switch puller and a wired keycap puller um, separately. We also have a USB-C to USB-C cable uh, with that uh, C to A adapter on a tail. We also have a box of extra switches. Let's check out what we've got. These are new. I have not seen these. Oh, they almost look like the salmon colorway. Huh, that's a decent linear. Appears to be slightly long pole, if I had to guess, a 3.8 travel. And it has just the most minimal of ping, but it has a nice poppy bottom out. It's not harsh, and it's not too loud. And I gotta say, I like the color. Um, they are wing wax type style, but they're three pin and they're linear. They're of a mid medium weight. I would guess maybe 50-ish, 55 maybe. All right, so putting aside what we have here. So along with the accessories, we also have a manual, which we'll keep here. And our stickers that they've been, a lot of the latest releases have been coming with these. And um, I gotta say, this is a first for me. The uh, keyboard itself comes shrink wrapped. So, um, nice, I guess. Let's see if I can get this pulled off. All right, I think that's all of it. Um, now, the plastic, I can tell you, is definitely. Oh, that's another piece. I can definitely say that the plastic is very glossy, it's very different than what I'm used to on keyboards. I don't know if it comes through as well, but it is a, it's either a different type of, if I had to guess, I would say ABS, but it's a different finish because it has a very, very glossy finish. And again, I don't ever recall seeing a keyboard shrink wrap like that. Now, while we're here at the bottom, I like that they do this because Red Dragon has been known for only including one pair of feet meaning only two typing angles. We've got three with this one. So that is a nice change. And we say we have eight uh, Phillips head screws, uh, four at the top, four at the bottom, which are probably necessary to go ahead and open this up. Wow. Yeah. All right, to date, I had personally named this, uh, this is the K628, right? Now, this is the K631 RGB Pro SE. Um, when I first reviewed this uh, about two months ago, I said this is by far the best out-of-the-box Red Dragon keyboard I've reviewed. I have not modified it yet. I have some ideas for it, but I've kept it stocked, and I actually use it here and there. But 
sounds pretty good. Now this is not a gasket mount. This though is, and this sounds like this. So I'm sorry K631 Pro, but uh, this elf has dethroned you. There is a, uh, this is pretty insane. And then look, we can uh, see the, the amount of flex that we have. It's not insane, but it's definitely there. We have a pretty good sound uniformity going up and down. Uh, let's check out some other things in here. All right, I want to see about the stabilizers because that's usually my one complaint. But let's go ahead and pull the switch out too. So some people are going to go, oh no, it's north facing. And some people are going to be like, heck yeah, it's north facing. Because a lot of people still like to use uh, shine through keycaps. And some that even don't, they prefer the lights shine that way. Because if not, it kind of hits them, depending on what angle they have, it could hit them straight on in the eye and make it actually uncomfortable to use. So please don't knock what people like or prefer. You do have a dense dense silicone foam below the PCB and there also seems to be a silicone pad between the plate and the PCB. Um, the plate does appear to be uh, okay so the plate it looks like the plate is integrated so wait a minute no no plate's not integrated then it wouldn't be all right, now the plate's not integrated, but it looks like it is, if I had to guess, it's a PC plate. It doesn't look metal or aluminum. Yeah, it looks like it's a PC. I don't think it's FR4, I'm pretty sure that's a PC plate. So that's uh, pretty interesting. Now let's look at these stabilizers. And we got a little bit of wiggle, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna guess there's no holes for screw and stabilizers, but why not check? Yep, no holes. It does give you a diagram of which way the stabilizers are meant to go. Um, and we have just the slightest of lubrication on the stabilizers. And while they're loose, they're not annoyingly loose. I've definitely seen some Red Dragon boards with much looser keys. Now the keycap set, I, I wanted to say it was black, but the top here is like a grayish blue, and this is like a deep navy blue. And this is almost like the colors of U of M. Um, I mean, I know it wants to look black, but to me, it looks like a navy blue, which kind of calls out to question the uh, the red and white keys that were included. I don't know where, I mean, maybe they were supposed to be uh, blue or yellow, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, so looking at around, uh, we do have a side USB port, and there's the profile. Remember, we're using OEM keycaps. We have the logo around the side, but I'm pretty sure that'll probably come off with some non-acetone nail polish remover. But we have a, a pretty decent looking keyboard. It's a little lighter than I would like, but it doesn't have a battery and we don't have any metal parts. So that could definitely be a part of that. But I, I must say this not only sounds, but feels very nice. All right, let's see what we've got for RGB now. Show us the light. All right. We have some pretty decent light there. It doesn't look too low. This looks like it changes. Oh, it looks like it's memory. Just the specs. Today we took a look at the K649 Elf from Red Dragon. A 75% wired and gasket mount pre-built. 
It has 82 keys and comes very well dampened with both case silicone and plate PCB silicone. It comes preloaded with gold melt linear switches and weighs in at 847 grams out of the box. It is also loaded with OEM top double shot Bumblebee colorway keycaps. The chin of this keyboard sits at 22 millimeters and the back sits at 26, providing for an angle of 5 degrees. Using the first included pair of flip out feet, raises the back to 33 millimeters. Raising the final pair of feet, you will get a height of 41 millimeters in the back with an 11 degree typing angle. This keyboard MSRPs for $64.99, though it is currently on sale for $59.99. All right, so today we took a look at the ELF uh, K649 from Red Dragon. If I'm not mistaken, this is their first gasket mount keyboard. It is a pre-built. It comes with some decent linear switches that I had not heard of before, but I'm interested. They have the tiniest amount of ping, but it really can't be heard when typing. Um, it has what appears to be a PC plate, though I couldn't find any specifications on that. It has double shot OEM Bumblebee keycaps, but I could not find whether they were PBT or ABS. If I had to guess, I would say they're ABS, but I could be wrong. Um, it, it's a hefty keyboard. It does have north facing LEDs that are programmable. Uh, both through the keyboard and through the software, which is it's decent enough that allows you to remap or rebind most of the keys, as long as they're not ones that have already been set up for light controls. Um, it is wired, but at what it's currently, uh, it right now Red Dragon has it for fifty nine ninety nine, which is sixty bucks, with a thirty percent discount, which would should bring that down uh, to around $42 before taxes and shipping, which at that price, I mean, if if you're you're looking for north facing, if you want something that you can mod and make sound better, though, if you just want something out of the box at this price, I, it, it, it sounds good. I mean, there's, I would tighten up the stabilizers. I would add tape mod as well as PE foam mod. But other than that, I think this keyboard is, is pretty well built and for a lot of people especially if they're new or new or to the to the field i think that they'll be happy with this keyboard it, it might serve as a stepping stone but they're not i don't think anybody's really going to say oh i regret buying this keyboard yes i will come back to it and i will probably change out the keycaps because uh, just the, the the legends on the modifiers just stand out to me in an almost comical way but if it wasn't for that, I'd like them. I have keycap sets that I think I would look great with this two-tone, um, extremely shiny, glossy um, exterior that it has. I really, really like that. I'm, I'm also going to scoot this up very close to the top of my list for keyboards to mod because I want to see how it's built on the inside. It does have flex. It's not a crazy amount of flex, but you can definitely feel the keys give. It has way more sound consistency going up and down the board uh, to the different rows. So I've got to give Red Dragon props for this one. Um, they said that I would be excited about uh, this batch of keyboards they sent, and uh, so far I've not been disappointed. Um, at the sale price of $42, I mean, it's, it's hard to say that this isn't a good deal. I mean, even if you are going to throw away the keycaps you still have a 75 percent with some de decent linear switches and four extra ones um, just in case so i am definitely looking forward to coming back to this i like the direction where red dragon as well as these other uh, manufacturers are moving towards um, we're getting a lot more choices of much better keyboards than we were even just a year ago and even think back two years ago if i would have told myself this is what would be available. I'd just laugh because I, I, I wouldn't believe it. So the market is changing. Uh, keyboards are becoming better. The one thing that we still need to push, it's happening here and there, but consumers need to request it, and that's how we'll get it, is to have the choice because it shouldn't be about one or the other. You should have the option of closed-source software from the manufacturer and via 
slash QMK vial, an open source alternative as well. That makes consumers feel more comfortable in knowing that, you know, if something were to happen to the company or if they stop supporting it, they still would at least have a piece of software to control it. Um, and for those that want to just the basic functionality and are fine with closed source software, then they have the option. Leaving the consumers or the customers with the option of which software they want, I think is the best avenue and it benefits everybody. And for the manufacturers, it really, I mean, you can find guys that'll, that'll build you a QMK source within a day's time. It's not that hard. So anyway, um, I, uh, I like this keyboard. I look forward to coming back to it and bringing a little bit more life out of it. It sounds good. It just, I think it, I could breathe some more life into it and make it sound um, even brighter. Um, so I look forward to doing that. But until that time, I'll leave you guys with a stock sound test of the K649 Elf 75% gasket mount from Red Dragon Keyboards. Yes, you heard that right. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.